Apple Maps has come a far way. They've really changed a lot of what they've done and really overhauled the whole app to be much more user friendly and have some really cool bells and whistles. So in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to see light pollution in real time. I know it may sound kind of weird and an odd video, but I haven't seen anyone cover this. And I think it's a really cool trick to even show people. It makes you look like you're really smart and you know what you're doing. <laughs> so hopefully I look really smart and like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Welcome everybody, I'm Kevin from HelpfulTutorials.net. If you like iPhone tips, tricks, and tutorials, do me a favor, smack that subscribe button. We'd love to have you here. Thank you so much. With that said, let's go ahead and dive right in and show you this cool trick. So the first thing you want to do is find your Apple Maps and go ahead and click on it. Click on the eye. Make sure satellite is turned on. Now we want to do a zoom in a little bit. Sometimes it takes just a little bit. You want to get zoomed in until 3D appears. Once 3D appears, go ahead and tap on 3D. It's going to rebuild it as a 3D model. Now what we want to do is zoom out. And we can actually zoom out even further. And you can see it's daytime right now for us at, in the United States. But if we go over to the other side, we can actually see the light pollution of the different areas. And we can also tell where is the night currently and what's day. It's pretty awesome. You can even zoom in and see the, the light. You can't get too zoomed in, but you get pretty zoomed in. You can see where all the light is coming from. And with this, these are going to be more populated areas that are brighter just because they have more lights. Really cool trick and it's really neat to just see the globe as a whole and see where the lights are coming from. If we look in Africa, we don't really see a whole lot there. But you look at Mumbai and it's lit up like a Christmas tree. <laughs> Pretty awesome. So if you wanted to check your area and see what it's like, you do have to wait till it's nighttime in your area. As you'll see, the shadow will, you know, gracefully move as time goes on. Really cool trick. So that's how you can find the light pollution in certain areas. Again, it does have to be nighttime in that area, but you could also look at around the world and just check out the cool areas and how it looks. Really, really fascinated by this. I hope you are too, because if not, I'm probably just going to sound like a bumbling idiot. But anyway, that's how you do it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any problems, let me know. It does definitely have to be in 3D. And like I said, you have to kind of like pinch in to a bit until you can tap on 3D and then you zoom out. I hope this really helped. Thank you so much for the view.